Hi everyone, welcome back to Bethany's Vintage Fairy Tale. I'm so happy that you guys could be here with me today at the launch of a brand new season, Fall. <laughs> One of my favorite seasons to decorate for. I can't wait to share with you guys all of the ideas that I have, DIYs, party planning, decorating tips and tricks. I can't wait to share with you guys this upcoming season, so really exciting. And today's gonna be a really um, casual, informal video. We're just gonna be doing a good old fashioned haul, sharing with you guys everything that I've been collecting over the past couple of months. Um, stores always put their fall decor um, a season early as you guys probably know so I've been collecting pieces here and there that I can't wait to share with you guys how we're going to use them so if that's something that you guys would like to see then just keep watching so starting off with pumpkins I've got some really cute ones I love these fabric ones they're super squishy and soft I love the different textures that they have these are from HomeSense primarily I find that they have the best selection and they're really affordable they're not crazy expensive and they have every kind of style that you could ever want if you like traditional fall decor if you like glam like I do or um, even like the Halloween pumpkins they've already got black and white and stuff coming out so there's all different kinds for you guys to choose from which is really fun and you can really make it your own so this one here I really like it's super soft and I love the different textures with the burlap and the, the kind of knitted material it's super cute and it's a very neutral pumpkin so this will really lend itself well to any style of decor. So I really like that one. <laughs> I've got a velvet pumpkin, which is really nice. I've never had these kind of style before. It's filled with like sand or something. So it's definitely like a little bit more of a perky pumpkin, but it's very cute. I'm probably gonna end up painting the stem just to kind of blend it in with my glam decor a little bit, but these are really great and they have them in every single color. And like I said, you can paint the stem to match whatever kind of colors that you guys are going for. So that's kind of fun. I picked up this guy here from Michael's actually. I know he doesn't really look like much now, but trust me, he's gonna be gorgeous. I have a big DIY planned for this guy here. So it's really nice to pick up something like this because they're pretty neutral and then you can kind of customize it to whatever decor style that you're going for, which is really nice. And just so you guys know, Michael's right now is, uh, well in Canada here, they're having uh, buy one, get one free right now. So a really, really good sale and I was able to pick up some goodies. So yeah, I love that one here. I picked up two of these because like I said, these are for a DIY. And then the next pumpkin here, this one I really like is kind of like a macrame kind of texture. This one again is from Home Sense. I really liked like the organic texture it had and I have a DIY plan for this actually as well. I don't usually like to just buy stuff off the rack. I usually try to customize it, make it my own, but uh, whatever your kind of decor style you guys are going for, this would be great as is, or you can DIY it like I'm gonna share with you guys, but the texture on this is really, really pretty. I love the macrame, it's so nice. My last um, like fabric style pumpkin is this gorgeous, one here. I love the different texture and the different materials that they've used. It's got sequins, it's got burlap, it's very earthy and very neutral. This would go really well with farmhouse decor or traditional. I've also got a few glass pumpkins to share with you guys, which I'm really excited about. These are so glam and fun. And again, HomeSense has them in every single color decor style for whatever need you're going for. So I love collecting these every year. They're very special pieces. So I've got a few different colors to share with you. This first one here is this gorgeous glam pink one. It totally reminds me of Cinderella <laughs> just with the beautiful colors, the gold. It's very vintage looking. I just absolutely love this. And for this year, I've kind of decided to go for a little bit of an out of the box theme. I'm doing a Cinderella fall decor themed uh, series on my channel. So I can't wait to share with you guys that. I've got some really glam DIYs coming up for fall. Of course, I still love the traditional fall decor that I grew up with. So I will be sharing some traditional fall decor as well, but glam is definitely where my heart's at. So <laughs> I do have some pretty unique colored pumpkins as well. Um, so yeah, this gorgeous pink kind of iridescent pumpkin with the gorgeous gold detailing at the top so fun and just gorgeous. I love that one. Kind of keeping with the similar theme, I've got this beautiful cream glass pumpkin. It's This one's a little bit more iridescent and I just love the different colors. It kind of has a little bit of a pink and blue tint, which I like since I'm doing Cinderella fall decor. And again, the gorgeous gold top. Everything in my house is usually primarily gold. I love that, the tone and like the vintage quality that it has. So I love this pumpkin. It's so special and I'm just gonna cherish this forever. I love this one. And then of course we couldn't do Cinderella fall decor without a blue pumpkin, right? So I've got this gorgeous one here. The texture on this one is amazing. I absolutely love this pumpkin. It's so nice and I love the different colors, the texture, and again, the gold top is really gonna lend itself well to our Cinderella fall decor. So super excited about this one. When I saw it, I was like, yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. So really excited about this one. <laughs> 
One more glass pumpkin to share with you guys. This one's a little bit smaller, and this one's more of a creamy one than the first one I shared with you. And I like the little bit of um, like the layering to it and the topper. The topper is silver, so I'm probably gonna paint this one just to kind of change it up a little bit. And I'm probably gonna add like a ribbon around the middle here because there's quite a gap between the two pumpkins. So I think having a little bow there or some sort of ribbon detail would be really pretty, but this one's just nice and neutral, simple. This could go with Halloween decor. This could go with fall decor. It could be for anything. So really like this one as well. And then I actually found some candles at HomeSense already. So these are really cute. I thought these would be nice for a tiered tray or for a tablescape. They came in multiple different colors and they had Halloween ones, they had fall decor, they had glam. So lots of different ones. I also have some dollar store pumpkins to share with you guys from Dollar Tree here in Canada. So don't discount your dollar stores, you guys. They have amazing fall decor that you can get super affordable here in Canada. It's $1.50 per item. In the US, it's $1.25. So again, some really, really cheap, affordable decor. I love picking up my DIY crafting supplies from there. And then they also do have some nice pieces like their pumpkins. So I've got this one here, which is more of a traditional fall decor. I really love the top on this one. It's kind of got a little bit of a gold tinge to it. And I love the little speckled detail. It looks really, really nice. Something that you would see at Michael's definitely does look dollar store quality. And I'm probably going to use a lot of these on my wreaths, tablescapes, things like that coming up in my DIY. So make sure you stay tuned for those. And then of course I had to go glam. <laughs> you guys know I love my pinks and my blues and everything like that. So, and with doing Cinderella, I kind of needed to find blue and I could not believe it when I walked into Dollar Tree and found these amazing pumpkins. Like, these are so cool. I absolutely love this color and it goes so well with the Cinderella theme, this like icy blue and it looks so high end to me. This does not look like it was from the dollar store. So I was super happy to find that. And of course, you guys know my favorite color is pink if you guys have watched my videos before. So I had to grab one of their velvet pink pumpkins as well. Super, super fun. And these will go really good with decor DIYs. You can use these in garlands, wreaths. You can have them in bowls just sitting out. There's lots of things that you can do with these. So definitely love having those with my fall decor. And a couple other finds that I was really excited about. They had burlap pumpkins at Dollar Tree. How cute are these? They just have these little clips on the bottom, which are really nice. You can clip them onto your garlands, use them for DIYs. You can just have them around your home in a little bowl. They're super, super cute and absolutely adorable. And you get three for $1.50 here in Canada. So had to grab some of these gorgeous little burlap pumpkins. And then they also had sweater pumpkins, which I thought was so fun. And look, they had blue. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's perfect for the Cinderella fall decor. It's really nice to see stores coming up with different alternatives because of course, traditional fall decor is so amazing and I absolutely love it as well. But it's kind of nice to branch out as well, especially if you love color like I do. It's nice to see the stores kind of catering to those customers as well. So I'm really excited to see these beautiful blue pumpkins this year at Dollar Tree. And I absolutely love the sweater pumpkins. These look so high-end and definitely not dollar store quality so I can't wait to share with you guys how these are going to be used in our tablescape this year and then they also have these cute little crafter square pumpkins as well super super tiny I think these would be cute as like a bowl filler or even like in a little cloche on your table you could fill these in there and they would look super cute and they're just a uh, foam so you could easily um, paint these as well if you did like the color which I'll probably paint some of them as well, but these are really nice for DIY purposes. So super happy to see those at the Dollar Tree. So that's everything for the pumpkins so far that I've picked up this year. Now we're gonna move into some tabletop decor that we're gonna be using for our tablescapes, um, for my kitchen area and things like that. So the first item is actually from Anthropology. Me and my husband went there for our anniversary and I've never been before and it was absolutely amazing. If you guys like um, a little bit more bohemian eclectic style, I highly suggest you check out Anthropology. But I found this amazing vase and I couldn't believe this when I saw it. It totally reminds me of a pumpkin, the way the shape is at the bottom here. And I love the texture of the glass. And then the exaggerated top is just so elegant and pretty. And this would go with any kind of decor style. It's just clear glass. So you could use this for other things. It doesn't have to be fall decor, but it just kind of reminded me of a pumpkin a little bit. And I'm gonna put some fresh blooms in for one of our tablescape designs that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. So I absolutely love this piece. It's very, very special and yeah, very excited to have this. <laughs> the next little piece of decor here I have is this cute little pumpkin jar. There's the little lid there. You could use this for uh, food if you wanted to. It is food safe. It's from HomeSense. 
Um, I'm planning on using this in my tiered tray, but I really liked the kind of like icy blue color. I thought that would go really well with my Cinderella <laughs> themed fall decor. So I really like this little guy here. It's super cute. And this wasn't expensive. I think this was $5 Canadian from HomeSense. So <laughs> really, really affordable. And they had these again in other colors. They had the traditional oranges and creams. They even had Halloween ones already. So yeah, lots of different options for this and super, super cute. And it's nice that it's functional as well. The next piece as well is from Home Sense. I thought this bowl was just absolutely beautiful. The painting inside is so nice. I love the different textures and the different shades of blue that it has. With Cinderella, I was kind of noticing that when I was rewatching the movie for my inspiration for this season, they had a lot of navies. There was an icy blue. There's that bright, you know, turquoise color. And this bowl kind of had all of the colors combined so I thought that would be kind of nice to kind of tie in the theme of the decor and a really nice little functional piece that could be used for your tablescape for entertaining um, you could put little treats in here and this one is also microwave oven freezer and dishwasher safe so really really nice find from home sense I love this one the next find is also from Home Sense. if you guys can't tell, I absolutely love that store. I love it because it's just, it's really affordable. They have great product and I absolutely love their colors. They have every different style. So I just feel like there's really something for everyone there. So that's why I kind of shopped there quite a bit, but I found these beautiful bowls and I love this green color. Again, this will go with more of a traditional fall decor, which I love. And it's got this beautiful texture to it. It kind of looks like leaves almost. And I really love this kind of sage green color. I thought this was beautiful. And this doesn't even look like super fall to me. Like I feel like you could use these all year round, especially if you love like more earthy tones, this would be super, super cute. So love this one. And I have another piece from Anthropology. I got this amazing glass. I thought this was so, so beautiful. It's got a beautiful um, gold rim. It's got the pink and clear glass. I thought this would be really nice for a tiered tray. I'm planning on like draping some pearls inside or I don't know, maybe putting some cute little treats in there. I thought this was really nice. And again, this is, I'm not really fall decor <laughs> related, but I plan on using it. So I thought I would just share it with you guys, but I love the glass. It's so pretty. And then the last find that I got from Anthropology is this absolutely amazing tray. I love the color, the glass. It's got this beautiful kind of, um, I don't know, like swirled effect with the glass and the color. It's so beautiful and I love the blue color. I thought it would be so nice for Cinderella decor and um, it's blue so I could use this in the summertime, spring, like it's not really a seasonal thing. I feel like I could get a lot of use out of this for entertaining. We do have quite a few parties and stuff like that and people over so I like having things like this on hand that you can easily grab, put treats on, you can put a cake on here, you can keep it casual, put leftovers on it, you could do anything with it. So I absolutely love this one and the color really really got me so <laughs> yes anthropology was absolutely hit so I'm very excited to <laughs> go there and find this little guy so the last piece that I picked up so far for tablescapes and kitchenware is this amazing little tray it's real marble so it's like really heavy and it's got beautiful wood at the top this is a home sense find so I'm planning on kind of using this as like a cheese board or cheese and crackers charcuterie things like that I thought this would be really nice for Thanksgiving just having in the middle of the table and putting like your cute little trays on top I absolutely love it and it's really good quality like this is a sturdy piece that's not going to go anywhere so I love that and it did come as well with um, the little um, the little cheese spreader so that was really nice as well so I love that one and then kind of a random find <laughs> but my husband actually found these on Amazon they're little um, clear plastic slippers which I love they're gonna be super cute for my Cinderella themed fall decor things like this like little tabletop decor are great for your tiered trays you guys you can really layer these in so I have a little bit of fall floral to share with you guys. I don't have a lot yet for the fall floral. I wasn't really finding quite a bit yet with the colors I was going for. So if I find anything else, I'll probably share it on my Instagram. It's the same handle, Bethany's Vintage Fairy Tale over there if you guys would like to follow me as well. Um, but so far I've got a few um, different florals that I'd like to share with you guys. So I have these, which are so beautiful. Again, very traditional fall decor. And they actually are quite scented. They have a really nice, beautiful, earthy smell. They're really, really gorgeous. And they're actually soft. Like they look a little bit prickly, but they're not. They're, they're very soft. And I love this burgundy color. I thought this was so nice for more of a later fall. I'd probably use this in like late September because it's quite a darker color but I think this is so pretty and the texture on this is so gorgeous and their stems are really, really long so you can chop them if you wanted to put them in a wreath or you can leave them nice and long just 
to put in a vase but i thought these were so nice and they're really really affordable you guys the florals at home sense are are amazing and not expensive so highly suggest checking those out i got two packs of those because i'm probably most likely going to be using these in a wreath so i'll share with you guys um how that turns out as well so the next piece I have is these gorgeous eucalyptus. These are from Michaels and they're all of their fall floral in right now is buy one get one free. So really, really good deal. And I love the color. It totally reminded me of that Cinderella color. I was looking for that kind of icy turquoise blue and I just love the texture on these. They look really realistic. They don't look super fake and I love um, the stems and I got four of these like I said buy one get one free so I thought these would be nice in a vase or these could be used in a tiered tray if you guys just trim down the stems or you can bend them as well I thought these would be a really nice addition to my decor this year and then the last thing I've got so far is these gorgeous hydrangeas I had to get something in navy blue because I just thought that would be a nice little punch of color because sometimes when you're decorating with pastel decor I can get quite everything just kind of looks like one tone because it's all quite light so I wanted something a little bit darker to kind of bring that pizzazz a little bit of contrast so I thought these navy blue hydrangeas would really do the trick so I absolutely love these they're so nice and they had hydrangeas in every single color at Michael's right now so lots of different styles to choose from but I thought these were so elegant and they'll really look nice for the fall decor. So I have a few pieces of miscellaneous decor that I wanted to share with you guys as well. The first is this really gorgeous picture frame that I picked up from HomeSense. I absolutely love the texture. It's a marble so it's really weighted and heavy and it's got this amazing little bit of a sparkle to it which I thought would be so nice for a Cinderella themed fall decor. I'm gonna probably frame one of my Pinterest photos in here just to kind of bring in the theme a little bit more. So I found this a gorgeous sign from HomeSense. I love it so much. It's got that beautiful kind of washed um, pastel feel to it. And it's really nice and weighted as well. It's quite thick. And so it's very good quality. And it's just kind of a little nice sign that I thought would be pretty at our entryway. So I'm gonna share with you guys um, all of my decorating tips, how I decorate our home here. Um, everything from the Cinderella fall decor, which I talked about in my living room. We're gonna do traditional fall decor, tablescapes, a little bit of party planning. So it's a very exciting season. I can't wait to share with you guys everything, but I love this little piece. It's so nice and fun and yeah, super cute. <laughs> I got this amazing little tabletop decor sign in the blue, of course, which I thought was perfect. And I'm probably gonna most likely use this in my kitchen um, or on a tiered tray. And they had um, these in all different styles too, even a Dollar Tree, like they had Halloween already. They had this more kind of farmhouse blue. They had very traditional fall decor with the oranges and the red. So something for everybody, a Dollar Tree as well. And I just love the little bit of um, light blue, the icy blue kind of color that it has. And then kind of keeping with the blue theme, I have this sign from Dollar Tree as well, which I thought was really nice. These like larger signs, if you guys get a grapevine wreath and then wire this in the middle and do your florals around it, I've done that in previous um, years past and it looks so nice. So you don't have to use signs just, you know, on your wall or whatever. There's so many things that you could do with these that, that um, go beyond just, you know, hanging them on a wall. So I'm probably most likely going to be using this in an upcoming wreath tutorial. So I can't wait to share with you guys that, but I love the colors on this. It's very farmhouse, but it also has that nice blue type that blue tone that I really love so yeah <laughs> and then I've got this one here so I did want a traditional fall decor sign as well it's still got that little pop of blue but I love the rich tones on this this just kind of reminds me of my childhood I'm um, growing up with my mom and my grandma she loved these kind of colors so I love this one as well it's always nice to have the traditional fall decor as well for that nostalgic feel and then I did pick up a crafting pumpkin so they had these in different styles and different shapes of pumpkins as well but I like this one because it kind of had the cute little farmhouse slats to it which I thought was really nice and it's just a flat wood so really easy to DIY you could um, put scrap of paper on this you can paint these I'll be sharing with you guys probably a tutorial on this one as well and then kind of a random crafty find I found these adorable little hay bales at Dollar Tree which I thought were so cute they have these at Michaels and they are super expensive you guys I highly suggest getting stuff like this from the dollar store it's literally the same thing but way cheaper so I got this pack for a dollar fifty at the dollar store and I'm probably gonna use these in my um, tiered tray design so that's everything I have to share with you guys today I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul very chatty informal style video I've had so much fun picking up all of these pieces and I can't wait to share with you 
you guys more decorating, decor, crafting, DIY. So if that's something that you guys would like to see, please like and subscribe to this channel for everything to do with heart, family, and home. It's an absolute blessing to have you guys here and to be able to share my love of creativity with you all. It means so much that you guys are supporting me. So thank you for everything, for commenting, for liking, subscribing. It absolutely means the world. So thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are. And thank you so much for being here at Bethany's Vintage Fairy Tale. Have an amazing day. I'll see you in my next video.